want to learn about machine customers watch this video because here i am going to explain what machine customer is and we already may be using the machine customer so as per definition machine customer is a non human entity which does the purchase and sell on behalf of human so it buys and sell on behalf of human so what's new here uh we already may be dealing in the entities like that let me simplify now you may be creating videos or buying something online or writing certain post you must have heard the word seo search engine optimization that helps you in making your video come to the top page or reach to more viewers similarly when you write a post or it related to your website if you have created you wanted it to be more visible or reach out to more audience bigger audience now what is happening suppose if you have created a video in which you are trying to explain something which need to go to, go to a customer in between there is something those algorithm are there or we can say those digital machines are there which optimizes and many times you end up creating your video your post your website as per those algorithm so maybe what they are doing they are buying your video as per their logic what they feel is correct and in turn showing those videos or your posts or your website to the other audience or to the customers so sort of you can think of it that the way digital marketing works or the search engine optimization work or those algo works you are in a way already selling your content or giving your content to those machines or those algorithm which are in between now extend this think of it if in your house many things are automated let's say either in your house or in your office there is a printer and in which it sends if the ink is getting over so it will order if it is already connected with internet it already orders the ink because it knows how many copies get printed daily what is the consumption of the ink happens and based on that it already orders proactively that ink we can apply the same thing for washing machine for detergent or for any other thing who may put order on your behalf and do those transaction just remember that the way i have explained earlier that many times you are submitting or giving your content to those algorithm or those virtual machines or those virtual assistant who are in between your customer and they buy or whatever they take and similarly show to the other party your data like that here also if the printer is there it identifies proactively how much ink will be needed and which is the best vendor to buy the ink similarly for the washing machine it identifies maybe the detergent powder which is may get over so from where to buy now if i extend this definition so in your house for variety of the things if your fridge is again a smart machine it knows these are the quantities of the fruit which should be stocked or the milk which should be there and based on what is left out it start ordering now can it move from our house to somewhere else yeah i believe there is a lot of values of this in various shops think of it i today what happens in big store supply chain is a big issue in the sense make sure that you have less of inventory and you are able to stock the product which customer wanted to buy because if you are having some things which customer does not buy or if customer wants something and you don't have you are essentially losing something either 
at the cost of those inventory or customer not purchasing the thing so that's why we have lot of mechanism of how to improve your supply chain or the inventory now for a, a small shop suppose it stocks various type of biscuit and toffee and many other snacks including you know some seasonal item which can be there which can be ice cream and many other things now as of now that person who is running the shop remembers and try to order those things think of it if in that shop that machine is there which identifies like what all the items are there how much they get sold in case any festival is coming or is there any special occasion something more will get sold or will be asked for it items which don't get sold and it orders on behalf of the shop owners on its own of course it may take a permission or the final approval from the shop owner but it will be a big relief for the shop owner because now he don't have to manually run and, and remember which things got over and especially for the items which are of a small value and high volume uh, you no know, let's say the biscuit or snacks or these type of things or it can be ice cream also depending on the flavor uh, which get stored in the those freezer so many times for the shop owner it become very difficult to remember which type of biscuit got sold whether chocolate flavor was the season or orange flavor or something else now those machine customers are there who identifies which type of stocks were already available which got sold which remained as a inventory and then it proactively orders based on the supply demand and taking into account as they said of the upcoming festival or any other special occasion so here now the customer can the shop owner can depend on those machine customer and he need not remember all those things he can be totally dependent once he gain the trust when he get the trust that machine customer is able to do the proper work it may leave that job and i think that already initially what happens that we get fearful of technology but once we get the trust that yeah technology is able to do we lose leave those decision to the technology uh, again i go back to my earlier example of digital marketing the way we put our content we wanted to of course reach uh, that content to our audience but in between there are various algorithm uh, search engine optimization rules are there so in a way you can think of it we give our content to those algorithm which are in between either it a optimization can be there as a either in a search engine or if you are creating any video movie or you are if you are selling anything online on a marketplace then also you want to make sure that your item is shown on top of it behind that there is a algorithm now the good part of it is that that algorithm does not have emotion so it means machine customer does not have any emotion it run ruthlessly on that logic whatever the really demand is there and make sure that those items have been stocked so it run ruthlessly uh, without any emotion uh, many times we human fall prey to emotions and you know when we try go to a mall we end up buying something which actually we didn't need it but uh, that time it was a sale and it was a tempting item we end up buying now maybe those i things may get cut down because the machine customers are there in between they know how many shirts i need uh, if it is a winter season coming whether i have the sweater or those things are there or not there so no more falling temptation to that so where do i see application of this as i said in our house uh, old items in the office various stationery and those things that can be proactively ordered for the various shop owners or the bigger uh, stores the supply chain constraint can be now removed or whatever it can be smoothened or a proactive action can be taken can this machine customer help in the luxury good i am not sure because i think that is where again human emotion will come into play maybe those items may get sold once you meet a human 
who tells you what are the advantage you know why you should buy or it is a status symbol and things like that maybe their machine customer will take some time to reach but in other places machine customer will come and behind machine customer the main things is internet of thing and edge computing internet of thing for collecting the data and edge computing for doing the computing at those edges at those places in those shops whatever the items are stocked at various uh, whether whatever in is table or you know stores which is there so there the data get collected computed and accordingly a proactive order gets sent to the from wherever uh, machine can buy and this machine customer can work 24 by 7 that is the biggest advantage so they can look across the world wherever viable options are there to buy certain things uh, depending on the price and the other things they will go and buy proactively so this is what the machine customer is there i hope you like this video if you want to read more about it you can visit my website www.raktimsing.com thank you